is another bigger long-tailed salamander. Video. We're not sure what. Jeez. What this salamander is. I think he's either a slimy or a Cumberland Plateau. Inside the trail in Bell County, Kentucky, southeastern corner. Uh, he looks like a slimy at first glance, but he's got a big profusion of creamy speckles on his side, many fewer spots on the back than I've ever seen on a slimy. Um, so I, I believe, especially from our location as well in the habitat, that this is going to end up being Cumberland Plateau salamander. I'll ask for help IDing this on the field herp forum based on this video. Um, and the pictures were taken. But I'm pretty sure this is life for number 14 right now. Cumberland Plateau Salamander, 14 of the year. Coming from Kentucky. Okay, I'm recording. Okay. Get get his sides, get the frequency of spots on the back. Um, you can't really get his belly. But I'll remember how it looks. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Got him. Mm -hmm. Dad got a two-lined. He's crawling across the trail. Oh, dang oh it. and he's scurrying off. Right there, just take a picture of him stopped. Yeah, or usually at the side yeah, of streams. Get them together. Get them, get them together. Okay. Right here. Nice. Good at running. Okay, so this is a seal salamander. Found on a fluke coming back flipping a log. Or a rock rather. If you look closely at a seal salamander, it has it's very bland in color, but on the back it has very nice brown spotted and speckled pattern. Okay. So this is a Cumberland Plateau salamander I found, ironically, at the edge of a stream. This one, I'm absolutely certain, is a Cumberland Plateau salamander, not a slimy. You can tell by the way the spots are kind of organized. You've got kind of an empty sector right here between the side where you have a, whoo, a layer of creamy spots. I can get and then on the back, right there, you see that the spots on this guy are much bigger, much more like perfectly round than you'll ever see on a slimy. They have just tons and tons of tiny little dots on their backs. And if you'll notice, these spots aren't really white either. They're brassy on the back, especially these ones back on the tail, and white to creamy on the side. So this is definitely a Cumberland Plateau sound, man. No question about it. Let me get a couple of good pictures after this. Hang on. From his face, huh? Yeah. Hold on. Where? And I have to put him back because he's drying out. Stop. I can't see. Hey, yeah, Got him? Get his, get his chin. Get his chin. Okay. He's walking away. His chin is right here. See it? Gray on the chin, black everywhere put him, else. Can you hold him over the leaf? Yeah, just because real quick. Otherwise, the background he's drying is... out. Well, the background is black top. It's okay. All right, got it, Nolan? Got it. Okay, this is a species of dusky salamander unique to eastern Kentucky and the very southwestern corner of Virginia. This is the black mountain salamander, also known as the black mountain dusky salamander. Um, it's not a seal. It's not a northern dusky. And he's got the chestnut, then light brown chestnut, then light brown with some black color pattern, which is pretty classic of the Black Mountain Dusky. So you see that eye jaw line there? 
Um, it extends from his eye right down to the bottom of his jaw. Normally you'd say, okay, with a color pattern like this, probably black belly. Belly's not black, and we're not in black belly range. Only option left is that this is a black mountain salamander. Not a new one for me, but one I did need better pictures and video of anyhow. Uh, still in Bell County, Kentucky. Uh, July the 7th. And it's about 11.30 in the morning. Mind if I give you a little shower to get rid of some of that glare? What? Get rid of some of the glare. Yeah, but you're blocking me. Oh, sorry. <laughs>